Hello everyone, my name is Prashant Sagre and welcome you all in my YouTube channel. So today I'll cover Excel as a database in Automation Anywhere A360. So before starting the further video, just we need to understand why we should use Excel as a database because we have another options are also available in Automation Anywhere then why we should go ahead with this option. Because when we are using the other options at that moment, everything it will be visible on the screen. Opening the Excel, updating something in the Excel and closing the Excel. This will take a very huge time. Suppose we have very less data, then it's okay. But uh, the more data when we are dealing with that, then it's very complicated because it will take a very huge time. Suppose in your project, we are having more than lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 10 lakh data is there. At that moment, how you will deal? Suppose those data will take a 2 to 3 hours to perform these operations. This Then this is not the optimized way, okay? Then uh, whenever uh, the stakeholders are demanding, then they are demanding to perform those operations very quickly. At that moment, we should go ahead with the Excel as a database. So it will take a very less time because everything it will be performed in a background. Likewise, whenever we are dealing with the other databases, we are using the query, right? So the same way here it is also because Excel we are considering as a database inserting the data through the query, reading the data through the query. So everything it will be performed through the query. Okay, so let's see with the practical here. So first of all, I'll show Excel database file here. So this is the file sample data, which we can consider as a Excel database file. Okay, and uh, here I can use the connect command from the database package to uh, connecting with that file. So here the connection mode we can select as a default. We have user defined and the default. So we can um, use that default option here. And we have this connection string available to connect with the Excel. Okay. So just we will see uh, the parameters inside this connection string. The provider it's uh, Microsoft ACE.OLEDB.12.0 and the data source it is the location of that file so just I shown you this location uh, where the file is available okay and then uh, we have the extended properties uh, the Excel 12.0 XML SDR equals to yes so this is the connection string available the second point here is we need to provide the session name here suppose I am performing uh, I am updating the employee employee data okay. this is the session name okay so connection string is ready here so we have connected with this particular file okay then we need to perform some operations right so for now i am just updating something into that particular excel so i can use the insert update from the database package so here it is the insert update delete is there so i am just uh, keeping it here and then I'm inserting the query here for updating query. We can use the update and uh, update. We should use the sheet name. So I'll quickly open this file so that uh, I can show you the sheet name here. Okay. So in this uh, Excel as a database, when we are interacting with and we are updating in the query at that moment, instead of table we can use the sheet name here suppose if you are dealing with the other database and we are uh, you are using uh, the query then you supposed to use the table name here but here while interacting with the excel we should use the sheet name the sheet name and uh, two time dollar it is and then set then we need to update employee name who has salary 1000 okay so what i am performing here set when we are updating something in the column and we are using the column name then we should use in a square bracket okay so emp name equals to suppose i am updating as a prashant okay where 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 employee salary equals to thousand okay 
so again we should use the square bracket here because uh, we are using the column name square bracket emp salary equals to 1000 okay so we have uh, connection is ready we have prepared the query and then finally we should disconnect the connection okay so this should be from again database and here we should use the same session name okay so in query also we should use the uh, session name because a session name is very important if you forget to update this session name then it uh, it will uh, show some error okay because session name is indicating the particular uh, connect to which to which file we are connecting like this connection string is belong to that particular session names okay so that is why we should use the proper session names here if we uh, if we are not using the correct session name then it will not identify this connection string okay so this connection string is belong to this particular file so for this file we are connecting so this will consider this particular uh, file we are connecting and performing the operations okay okay so we have ready with this operation right now then i'll quickly run it before running we will i'll just close this file so here what i'm performing I am just updating the employee name whose salary is 1000 okay so let's see I have closed it then run it okay so we will see the result here now it has started okay yeah now uh, the bot run has been successfully completed so i'll just check the result here okay see here you can see uh, earlier it was john but right now it is updated as a prashant so likewise we can use it okay so this is the insert update operation and when i am reading the data then how i should go ahead so for now i'll just uh, uh, disable this action and i'll perform the operation to read the data okay so for that what i'll need to do read from the database package read from okay so here we should use as a select select star from we need to use the sheet name here because sheet name we are considering as a table here okay we should use always in a square packet okay so uh, uh, this query we have entered here and again we need to use the same session name employee data okay so this is the session name here okay i think that's it save it okay so while we are reading then uh, we should use the loop command here okay so loop i'll quickly use it here then uh, here we should select the proper option from here so it uh, we should select the database option from here okay so here we should use the same uh, uh, session name the employee data session name it should be okay and here we can have assigned the current row to this variable so whenever uh, we are using a loop then we are reading the data through the row okay so then how we should uh, read the data through the multiple variables or through the record multiple variables I'll, I'll show you through the multiple variables also and through the record also so first of all i'll show one example for the multiple variables here okay so i'm just adding the variable mapping here 
so i'll use so for now and I'll, I'll just you open the excel file here to uh, use the uh, column name from here okay so suppose i need to read the data for the employee address so i'm just copying from here okay so key key is the name of the column okay and map to the variable so we can if we have that variable then it is fine otherwise we can create it okay so here i'll create one variable like s employee address okay so uh, use as the input or output it's uh, uh, totally uh, as per your convenience so i'm just creating this variable okay add it okay and then i can just read it uh, through the meshes box inside this Okay, so here I will quickly use that particular variable okay so yes employee address okay save it okay I think uh, we have ready with the query and reading the data through the loop okay and I have used uh, a variable mapping here okay so I will quickly run it and let's see before running I will just quickly close the file okay run it confirm okay so it should be read all the employee addresses from the uh, excel file through the database okay here you can see the kolkata pune latur yeah so likewise uh, it is just reading the data through the uh, rows all right so it's completed for reading all the employee addresses okay so we see the first option the multiple variables okay through the variable how we can read it and now we can see how to use the record here okay so record and here we can use one uh, variable of type record so we'll just create it so okay use input output okay create okay so we have created this uh, uh, record so this record set is having the data for entire row so we can read it uh, through the name of the column so how we can read it i'll show you here okay so here i'll quickly use uh, the i'll quickly use the record name here to and here i'll use the sql record set okay and here we can have a two options by index by name okay so for which we can use it as per your convenience you can use it but i'm using the by name so by name again like the name it should be the column name okay so when we are dealing with this data then i'm just using the employee name here okay emp name i'll quickly enter it here emp name okay then i'll insert it save it okay so likewise if i'll open the another message box here and here i can use the same f2 i'll use the record variable from here and then by name it is i need the employee salary okay so employee salary insert it. okay so this is the employee name name and this is the employee salary okay so save it i'll close the file before running save and run it Okay, let's see the result here okay so employee name is Prashant salary is 1000 Rahul 
so likewise when we are using the record then it is behaving as a record set we can use the column name to read the data and uh, the second option is through the variable okay so we can just assign okay so likewise uh, we can read the data through the variables as well as through the record okay so i think yeah that's all about the how to use the excel as a database uh,